Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today is day 28 of my 100 day challenge and we are going to make bread pudding in the pressure cooker. I'm just going to move this out of the way just so you know it's day 28. Um, so you may have heard me talk about the pressure cooker before. This pressure cooker is not like pressure cookers of old. It has so many safety features in it. Um, this silicone ring, once, if, if you got up to too high of pressure, it would automatically fall into your pressure cooker and the pressure will release and nothing will happen. There's also another extra release here. So you'll have the pressure coming up here. Um, how the pressure cooker works is steam. You, so you need liquid when you're cooking with this. So the liquid creates steam, the steam creates pressure. And then this is the pressure indicator, this little yellowy orange guy. So when he, that thing is up, that means it's under pressure. So when you take this out of the microwave, it's going to be up. And this little thing over here may be sputtering away. So you just leave it and um, wait until the pressure comes down on its own. So this will lower itself and then you know it's ready to open. This here is not a handle. Um, this is also another safety feature. So if you do accidentally open this before the pressure is down, the pressure will release and it's safe. But you wanna leave the pressure on till it's finished cooking just um, because it does a little bit extra cooking while it's still in there. So today we're gonna do bread pudding. The recipe I found called for Cuban bread. Don't know what Cuban bread is, so I just use normal whole wheat brown bread. And I chopped it up uh, into cubes. It said to uh, take the crust off, but I like the crust. So I'm not quite sure how much of this to use, so I'm going to, not, I don't think I'll use quite the whole loaf. So I put almost the whole loaf in there, about two thirds. There's a little bit left here, so I'm just gonna get that out of the way. And then we take four eggs and we're just going to, I knew I'd forget something. Forgot the whisk, one second. So, four eggs and then we just whisk those up lightly. This whisk is the best whisk I've ever used. Um, the shape of it, I don't know if that's it or what, but it just really is a nice whisk to use. It's I like it better than the round ones. Um, and then four cups of cream. Uh, the recipe called for a cup of sugar. I thought that sounds way too much. So I'm adding half a cup of sugar. Um, and I have, it's supposed to be half a cup of raisins. So I have about a quarter cup of raisins and a quarter cup of cranberries, maybe a little bit more because I like those. And two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm too, sorry, two tablespoons of cinnamon. Um, just losing it a little bit, that's all. Um, and some melted butter. So these are our micro pearl pitchers and they, um, they're measuring cups that can go in the microwave. And while I melt, melted the butter, it didn't splatter at all. But if you had something that was going to splatter, this cover is amazing. It's, so it just sits on there. It's not tight or anything, just sits on loosely and will protect anything from coming in or splattering out. So we have four tablespoons of melted butter. Just pour that in there. And we're just gonna mix this up. Hard to get the cinnamon all mixed in. And I believe that's it. Sorry. The recipe called for chocolate chips too. And um, chocolate chips don't belong in bread pudding, I don't think. I've never had it anyway, so I didn't put it in there. Um, might be fun to try, but I'm gonna just do it this way. Um, <laughs> raisins and cranberries all came out at the end. This would be really nice with some blueberries too. Um, and you're just supposed to push all the bread down, let it soak up all this yumminess. And um, I don't know how it would work with a milk alternative. I think I'm gonna try that next time. Um, 
because I'm loving the macadamia nut milk. Too much dairy doesn't really agree with me a lot, so I um, think I might try that next time. So there we go, our bread pudding. And I'm um, just gonna put the cover on. And so you just, you line up the arrows. I'm not sure if you can see, there's two arrows there. You line them up, push the lid down, slide it over and then that's locked. And then this handle, with this, I told you it's not a handle. This um, lock will lock in place. And there we go. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 20 minutes at 70% power. And there we go, it's bread pudding. Thanks for watching.